What up? What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Jason. Welcome back to another one. <laughs> another Madden 16 online gameplay. A through Z series, fellas. We are on the Dolphins. You guys missed the game previously. We played with the Cowboys and we were victorious. Even though Romo was throwing towards the crowd more often than not, we uh, still came away with the victory. So, uh, one thing that I noticed about the Miami Dolphins is that their playbook is disgusting. As in disgusting, as in like really, really good. Like, their playbook is freaking amazing. I just may switch Denver to play with Miami's offensive playbook. I think their playbook is, is that good. Their offensive formations are uh, phenenomenal. Not to mention, oh, I was almost there, man. Speaking of the Cowboys, you know, I used them last game. I happened to be going up against them this game. Um, they have my snugs that I run out of Denver. That I definitely like, you know, my drive out. You know that that I'm popularly known for. Um, but they they have another variation of that where that angle route that I like to uh take advantage of. It's like six yards deeper. They have like a, well, not that one. Maybe it's like three yards deeper than the one I'm used to. So I seen that and, a, and they got some read options as well. So if I transition this into mutt, if I get a quarterback with some speed, I'm able to go on ahead and utilize that. Or if I play here, uh, you know, with uh, ranked head to head, there's sometimes I'll have a team where let's say I want to play with the, uh, Let's say I want to play with the Falcons. That right there is a corner route. 16 yards deep, man. 16 yards deep. Let's say I want to play with the Falcons. Obviously, I'm not going to be doing any type of read options with the Falcons, but I'd still be good because I really like the offensive sets. But let's say I play with somebody like the Bills. You know, um, I can go ahead and put Taylor in. Um, Tyrod. And uh, look at that dot right there. And I'll be able to utilize the few read options that they have here with their pistols. So, I'm, I'm really liking Miami playbook. I think once I'm done with the A through Z series, I'm going to go back to Miami, experiment with it for a little bit. And uh, if I can get something going out of it, I, I definitely think we're going to roll right there. Don't test that user. He is so disrespectful, though. I've had a feeling he was going to go to the flats. He killed me with it the last drive. So definitely made sure that if the pressure was going to get there, I want to take away his quick read, and we were able to. That's like my fifth time just barely missing that route over the middle. He is just killing me with these flat routes and verticals, which is that that uh, route that's going over the middle. And there he goes again, and we're able to go on ahead and, uh, again, take advantage of uh, his play calling. He's not really switching it up at all. Um, so Miami has a really, really, really good play, really, really, really good playbook that I like. So, um, we'll see if it's, I'm gonna be able to stick with it. I just wish they had a pistol bunch. Uh, but that right there is really the formation I like to run out of Denver because I like to run out of the ball, strong, close encounter. But, um, here, like I said, they have 21 shotgun formations. 20, I did not stutter. 20, 21, 21 shotgun formations. And as somebody who really struggles to pass the ball and somebody who really relies on the run constantly to be able to move the ball, whenever I am in a situation where I need to pass, I feel confident finding something good in 21 shotgun formations. It's crazy. Uh, we end up settling for the field goal instead of trying one more opportunity to see if we could uh, get in the end zone. I get ball at halftime. I felt like, let's just play smart. I don't want to make a mistake and, you know... Um, go on ahead and get sacked or just get stopped shy and end up not getting that two possession lead plus ball so uh right there if you guys know me you guys know i hate people who do what he just did which is uh going ahead and uh kicking onside down at halftime just as much as i hate somebody who like ip boots i hate it, it gets under my skin i can't stand it and that is because somebody who is very bad at defense such as myself Look how open wise I just couldn't get the pass off. Somebody who's bad at defense, you know, such as myself, it's like you got to earn your stops. I do a decent amount a job of scoring. I would probably be, I would probably, hey, Romo being inaccurate, I know about that, buddy. Oh, Romo missing a wide open slain over the middle, I know about that, buddy. Trust me, I was there last game. I know he's gonna miss some throws. Um, right there, I threw off my back foot. I don't know what the hell I was. This ain't matter fifteen. <laughs> so, um. Um, as bad as my defense is, I usually do a decent amount of scoring. 
And I would probably be able to kick, I don't know, a good three to five, you know, onside kicks a game if I did it every time. You know, I mean, he didn't do it every time, but it's just like earn your stops. You know what I mean? Like work on your defense, earn your stops. Don't try and come out and onside because you're down. Like there's plenty of time left in the game. You know, it's I just it's so frustrating to me. It is. It is like earn your stops. You know what I mean? Play good defense. Stop me on offense. Get the ball back the same way I stop you. Stop me. You know, like, and, and then it's even more frustrating if they were to get the onside back. That's what makes it frustrating is the fact that they just may get it back. And I, as soon as I see onside and I'm up or whatever, I just get so upset. I'm like, wow, they're back. They're back. <laughs> right here, we end up running the ball to the outside. And again, man, it's, it's only a three point game. So. And as you can see, man, you know, being up three, I'm, you know, you guys know I'm a waste clock. That's just what I do. I'm going to waste as much time as possible. Ball plus lead. Oh, I'm going ahead. I'm trying to waste a lot of that time. He pushed me out of bounds, man. So right here on third and four, man, we're looking, we're looking, we're looking. X is wide open. I held A. He should have did a possession catch, but I didn't get the animation for it. Right here, I'm looking for B, but he took forever to break off of the press, and I could not deliver the ball. He was pressed so forever. It's a boot. This man... He's got like a second and 30. Second and 35. That's one of the longest I've seen. Right there. I knew he was going to go to vertical, and that's my fault. for try I tried to bait him, which is my fault. I tried to run to the right and act like I'm going to leave it open just so I could cut back and undercut it, but I was wrong. But, again, you know, it's only a matter of time. You continuously put the same play in front of me. As bad as I am at, on defense, I know what four verts is looking like. Oh, they also have this formation, too, which I didn't find out to the fourth quarter. They have like that motion swing um, mountain play whatever it is where it can be a, a pass it could be a handoff or it could be a, a play action I mean a screen like I started you see him running towards the right side following the motion like um, once I discovered that formation I just started you know pretty much uh, just confusing the hell out of them and I'm really liking Miami see this is why I do the A through Z series man so I can go through each and every single playbook and find a, a playbook that I like and I'm I'm liking Miami so far um, I think I just may leave Denver and just like I said, just give it a shot. Uh, right here, he's offside. I got a free play. I figure why not just waste more time. Uh, I forgot that the, there's a tie game, so the clock was going to stop. So, but anyways, we end up scoring anyways. Going up two possessions, and from here, it's going to be tough for him to come back. You know, no timeouts. Little over a minute remaining. He's going to need an absolute miracle in order for him to come back in this game. So um, we're, we're on a, a, a bit of a winning streak right now. And uh, things are good. Things are always game. Winning cures everything. Winning cures everything. If you're able to win, you're just, ah, I feel so good to win, man. It, it really does. Winning is an amazing thing. So we're on a winning streak. Hopefully we can just continue that. You know, uh, our offense uh, is always different every game because the playbooks are different. The personnel is different. And I got to literally come up with the scheme on the spot to try and, you know, move the ball. But, you know, so far, last few games, we've been doing really good. And this Miami playbook is beast. 